All right, uh, everybody, what is going on? Uh, now, I highly recommend you watching the entire video. This one's probably going to be a longer episode because um, I'm going to explain everything in here. So this is like the ultimate beginner guide, uh, I would say. I'm just trying to go as much as possible. You know, I try to talk as less as possible and give you as much as information as possible. So if you enjoy this content, you know the drill, uh, like it or not. Uh, give me some cr uh, constructive criticism. Uh, tell me what you didn't like about it. And we're going to get right into it. By the way, yeah, I'm still sitting here with a blanket because I got up, got into the shower. You know, it's Saturday. I'm still a little tired, but it doesn't matter. So let's get into it. Now, I'm going to go over the game modes here uh, in a second. So uh, we're going to talk about that. But first of all, I want to talk about uh, the starting string, uh, screen that you start off with, which is going to be the edit tab. Now, I'm not going to cover this here on the left and this one on the right. Uh, because these are just personal preferences. You can change your hair, you can change your face, you can change your beard, and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to talk about that because that's your choice to make because it doesn't really affect you in your gameplay. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it and let's talk about what we see on the screen. Now on the top left we have spins and this is probably going to be something that you're going to run after and after and after. Now I'm going to make a separate video as well on how to get the most spins out of it because there are actually quite some other ways uh, other than codes and then getting spins in this game. So. Um, yeah, uh, on the right side, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to do this on the computer version. So if you if you're on mobile, if you're on a phone, you have to kind of adapt to it because I don't have the possibilities to do that right now. Um, okay, so let's get right uh, right into it. So in the top right corner, we have the YouTube code section. This is where Rail Games, the developers, are going to post on their Twitter page um, codes. I also post code videos, so if you want some codes, make sure to be part of the channel. You know, I upload some code videos. Uh, I think we had a code uh, right here. Let me just quickly uh, find the code. Uh, if you're watching this um, video right now, um, like as soon as it was uploaded, then you will see that uh, this code is going to work. It's going to give you 45 um, spins. It's going to call Silver Fang with an exclamation mark, which looks like this. Um, I'm uh, just put it, type it into it, and then use your mouse, and then press left button here somewhere in the somewhere in the screen, and then it usually takes it, and then you got some spins, some spinneroonies. Um, now let's talk about elements just really briefly. Uh, in the beginning, they're gonna be your friend, but in the mid game, late game, you know, once you get more advanced, intermediate, basically nobody really uses it as much as you use bloodlines and any other things like your tails and stuff. So elements are really just for the basic player, you know, just check out some basics, roll some, don't waste. That's the that's the worst thing that I've done in the beginning. Um, stop wasting all of your spins on elements because you're not really going to use it later on. So in the beginning, like I said, you will probably use it. These are the best elements in my eyes, which is uh, electricity and air. It used to be electricity and fire. So if you get any of these three, uh, you should be good to go. And that's it. I'm not going to talk much about elements because they're not really that helpful. Now, bloodlines is the thing everybody talks about. Bloodlines are the old Genkais when the game was still called uh, Shinobi Life 2, right? Um, and with the bloodlines, this is where the fun stuff happens. So I would use my spins on those, but keep in mind, um, if you don't have the ability bag, which is a, a game pass that I'm going to talk about in a second, uh, you're not going to be able to keep your bloodlines. So if you actually spin, so let me just like quickly spin here four times. Um, you know, let's see what we're going to get. I don't know, probably nothing crazy, but we'll see. What are we going to stop by? What are we going to stop by, ladies and gentlemen? All right, so this is what we got. We got some ice, uh, we got some boil, and we got some crystal. Uh, crystal. And um, if, you wanna, if, you, if you're happy with them, you can keep them. Now, if you also ask, you only have one and two. The, these two slots, uh, slot three and four actually cost uh, Robux. Now, this is something I don't recommend you doing. Don't buy spins because it's really not that worth it because they're really expensive. And I see people just burning their Robux doing this, just trying to get some really crazy um, bloodline. If you do it like me, just just get just get sp uh, free spin codes and just, you know, stack them up. Uh, in like a month, you can get easy, easy two, three hundred, four hundred spins. And there's some other ways of getting spins too. Recently, they also released a um, code for a hundred spins. So just look them up, and um, you should be good to go. Now the ability bag is a, a Robux thing, um, as you can see. Uh, it actually saves the things that you spin. It's really, really useful. So it's probably the most useful thing you can buy with Robux in uh, Shindo Life. Okay. 
Um, as you can see here on the right, the, sh uh, the ability bag is also going to show us uh, the uh, ones that we have unlocked. Now, I think it's a bug because I, I, it actually tells me they're all level zero. But once we go in game in a second, they're all leveled up. So it's, I don't know why it's like that. I have no idea. Maybe it's a bug or something. But yeah, anyway, so these are the ones that I've gotten unlocked. Um, there are some really rare ones because at the uh, right at the end of the blood of the bloodline, you see this one slash thirty five or one slash forty five. That's actually the rarity, um, and that is uh, yeah. Uh, the higher the end number is, the higher the rarity is. For example, Arahaki Jokei, for example, is one out of four hundred, which is the rarest bloodline in the game right now. Uh, with Dio Zenko, I think is there another one with four hundred? I'm not really sure. But I think it's these two that are the rarest bloodlines in the game right now. And yeah, there we go. So this is it. Uh, you got your elements set. Maybe uh, you got bloodlines. Like I said, don't waste every uh, spin on the elements. Rather waste them on your bloodlines and see if you're going to get something rare out of it. Um, once you've done, uh, you can hit the complete um, customization tab or whatever you got in the beginning. I don't know. You probably are going to get put into the game. And uh, I re quickly want to go through uh, one game mode that is really important for the beginners because uh, you want some you want some uh, spins, right? So there's this free reward tab. When you click on it, let's quickly uh, let that load up. It actually gives you free spins just for you know being in the game. Um, I don't know if it actually auto closes because Roblox has this thing. You can get an auto clicker, or at least just sit there. And every 20 minutes, you should um, press a button. Um, now you see, you start off with 600 seconds, with, uh, which are translated to 10 minutes. Um, if you leave you're going to and get back into it, you're going to start with the 600 seconds again. So you actually have to stay in this screen. Like I said, you can maybe get an auto clicker or just sit here and once in a while check into your browser and press it so they know you're active. I don't know if they've actually made it like that, if you actually go, uh, if you actually... Uh, get kicked out of the game or not. I don't know because I haven't tried it. I don't really use it. So you actually get some gold and you get some free spins. It also says the spin storage game pass, um, which I think is the ability bag. Spin storage game pass. Or no, spin storage game pass might be that you can actually have more spins. That's what it was, right? Um, then you can actually get more, uh, you know, out of it times two rewards. Now, I don't really use it, but if you're in the beginning, you know, 10 minutes for a few, you know, spins or something is actually quite good. So, uh, yeah, maybe do it or not. I'll just completely keep that up in your mind if you want to or not. Um, we have some other game modes that are not really going to be that interesting to you, especially in the beginning um, when you are going to uh, start out. Uh, so there are things that I recommend you not doing at all, which uh, I'm going to go through if that game would load up. Thank you. It's a little slow today, as we know, computers. My lips are so dry. I gotta get some water actually, but I'm gonna do that after the clip. Okay, so there we go. So we have the free uh, spinner uh the free reward system, which is really good. I'm really glad that they put that in. Uh, we have the arena. If you're interested in arena, re arena says it all. It's PvP, you know. Uh, I think we also have arena X. We have competitive, uh, competitive, which I highly advise you not to do yet. Um, we have World X. None of these things are really that interesting for you. Even War. War is a great mode because you can get 10 tails in it. Um, but uh, in the beginning, you're not going to do much there. So uh, War is not really the thing. In Arena, as far as I know, um, everybody's the same. You can choose characters. And in, was it in Arena or Arena X? And Arena X, I think, is the, way, the one you can actually use your own character that you've made. So, um, yeah, and then we get to the story, which I haven't actually played. Um, then we're going to go to the edit tab and we're going to go into the play tab. So that's what we're going to do right now. And I'm going to try to explain everything. Now, here's the map selection. Uh, there are different things you can get in different maps. Uh, I'm going to get into that in a second. But um, I would always advise you to start in Ember because this is the most famous place. There are even some places where I haven't been to. I don't think I've been to Obelisk. I don't even know. Dawn Hideout, they've all, they all got different names now. Uh, we had the training grounds as well, but I think it's all all changed. But um, I'm going to go into Amber right now because it's the most familiar place. And it's like basically I would com uh, call it the, the, the capital, the capital of Shindo life. But like I said, some people also play in sand and some other element places. So, um, yeah. 
All right, let's get into it. Uh, in the beginning, for me, it was really overwhelming because there were so many things that you have to look at and see in your your menus and all of these things. Look at this. Like I was like, boh, damn it. But in the end, later on, it's actually going to get quite, quite simple. Um, this is Ember now. Oh, what did I just pull out? Okay, whatever. Um, all right, so this is Ember. Um, I'm going to start off right here. This is usually where people, when you watch later on, when you watch location videos where you can get certain things, this is usually where people start, which is this place, and then they go like, okay, this is where we all start together, and we're going to walk this way and that way and so on and so forth, okay? So, um, yeah, what are you going to do? How do you level up? You're probably going to be level 1 uh, or not. Maybe you're level 30 or a level 100. Don't know. And there are quite a few things. So in the bottom tab, um, it's really difficult to me for me to show because uh, maybe I can go into F9 and I, I can use my mouse so I can show you just a little bit. Now down here where it says HP, uh, anybody that's familiar with gaming should know that that is the health bar. Uh, that's your health. Why am I being attacked? Oh, okay. Um, and uh, below that, uh, the MD I believe stands for mode. I think, um, but might be might be wrong. Modes you're gonna get later on. Mode power. Um, I'm gonna show that to you in a second. Then we have the chi, um, the blue bar, which is the mana. We should we we used to call that mana. And then we have the STM, which is basically called in every game, uh, which is stamina. If we start running, um, I don't know if it's gonna work. No, it's not even with that. But when you use fly, like if you have abilities where you can fly. For example, that's where it uses uh, stamina. Now we have a lot of buttons that we can use as well. You can see V, T, Y, F, G, H, B, R, M, B plus E, which is equal to right mouse button plus E. Right mouse button lets you block, left mouse button lets you punch. Then we have the N, Q, E and R. And in the bottom we have the menu, bottom left, it says M for uh, menu. We have the XP, which is your experience to level up. And then we have the L for Quests, which I really don't use much, but you in the beginning should definitely start um, using it. Oh, I even have, oh, I can get a Spinneroonies. Nice, thank you. <laughs> um, actually, in the beginning, these quests are gonna, they're gonna save you from a lot of things. It's really good. Um, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, you have the daily missions, you have bounty missions, uh, where you can actually go and kill people. You have the legend missions, but I'm gonna just quickly uh, go to the, wait, let me see, does it actually load up? Okay, sometimes it's real. Oh, there we go. Um, and you can actually get some stuff with it, but we're going to talk about that in a second. Why am I always being attacked? I just want to teach some people here, okay? Um, but yeah, the, L, the, the quest tab we're going to get to in a second, okay? Um, because basically when you play the game, you're going to get stuff. And then also there's some really easy things like jump 30 times or something to get some spins as well. Now, let's go into the M uh, for the menu tab. And now this is the tab that completely confused me in the beginning, okay? So this is how you can skill up your stuff. Like in every MMO uh, RPG game, you can skill your stats. And it kind of plays out later on on how your gameplay uh, and your game style is. So maybe you're good at Taijutsu, maybe you're going to use Ninjutsu, maybe you're going to want to boost your Chi or your health. Now, in the beginning, what I did, um, I think Taijutsu and health is the easiest to do because it's the easiest to unlock as well, I think, as well, the Taijutsu. So, but health is always really important, so you don't going to get down by anybody. So that's actually the first thing that I maxed uh, in this game. And we got the Taijutsu. As far as I know, was it Taijutsu? I think so. If we go into the, um, let me quickly go into the sub uh, ability. There we go. We, this is the type Taijutsu, right? So these are the ones that you can uh, actually unlock uh, with just cash, I think. These two are scrolls, but these ones you can unlock with cash, which you got here in the top right corner. I got full amount, max amount of cash because I don't really buy things anymore in this game because, you know, sometimes I buy some Genkai uh, or a Bloodline, but apart from that, I don't buy much. Um, okay, so in the stats tab, like I said, we have the Chi, which is going to give you more mana. We have the Ninjutsu, which is going to uh, boost your element power later on uh, with the bloodlines and all that kind of stuff. And then we have Taijutsu, which is the hand-to-hand -hand combat, basically, system. And then we have the health bar, uh, where you are going to, uh, you know, get health. Makes sense, right? Um, then we have the point section, um, which you're going to get to spend once you level up. The more you level up, the more you can, uh, the more you're able to spend. Um, you, my age is 30, you can reset that as well, if you feel uh, pleased to do that. 
and um, yeah, this is basically it. This is the the basic skill system. Like I said, in the beginning, I would go for health and taijutsu. Later on, you get some codes to reset as well, and then you can reset all your stat points as well and stuff. And yeah, you can actually even rebirth in this game, and then you also start with zero again, and then you have to level yourself up again. Um, but that's a bit too advanced. I might do that in an advanced video. Okay, stats. Now we go to the ninja tools. How do you get them um, uh, and how do you use them? Now, uh, some of them you can actually buy with money, but some of them are actually bound to scrolls, as you can see right over here. And now this is where the annoying bit starts to happen in Shindo life, because you have to go out and do a lot of things to do it. So, uh, as you can see, the haze right this one's called the haze the the demon toss haze um uh, oh wait haze is actually the place where you can get it uh wait let me actually go do we have anything somewhere around here dunes ember there we go ember this is where we at right now so we are at ember uh, on the top here it's going to tell you which um which place you can get it at um then we have the time now in the top uh, right corner we have est 505 as you can see right here 505 and here it says 615. So in one hour, um, we have a rarity chance of one out of nine to get the sword. Um, now a little tip for you. There is a uh, extension called Roblo Roblox Plus, I think. And you can switch between servers um, when you go into the server tab. This is what many people do. So once this timer hits 615 and our server is not going to have the Ember Sword, right? What we're going to do is we're going to go into another server to see if that one has it. So you, you switch servers, you server hop, basically that's what you call it, you server hop. And then um, a, a rarity 1 out of 9 should not be a big deal. I think we should hop maybe 5 to 10 times. But if you're really unlucky, if you're really super unlucky, you know, you got to do it more. You got to do it more often. So, um... Yeah, that's that. This is how you get them. This is and and that system applies to everything almost uh, to get anything in this game except bloodlines. But um, like for example, nine tails. You know, a chance one out of thirty. It used to be much higher. When I got nine tails, it used to be one out of sixty or one out of eighty. I remember it's like a long time ago. Um, and this is basically it uh, with the weapons in general. Now, here's a weapon that I've unlocked. I'm going to press Equipped. And as you can see here on the B tab, this is where I'm going to have my um, weapon now and I can use it. It has a cooldown, uh, like with every element and uh, bloodline. It has a cooldown and then I can use it again. As you can see, the weapon actually doesn't take anything. We have some consumables as well. We have some health pot. So right mouse button and N. I'm going to drink it. And I feel good, and I actually throw away the ball. Cool, uh, cool animation here, and that would boost me up with my, um, yeah, with my health. Now we have quite a few. We have a cheap pot. We have a mixed potion, which is probably going to give you both. Then we have a stamina pot. We have a soldier pill, which is probably going to be increased. Then the health stem, which is I think the best one, and we have the chi stem as well. Now this tab I don't think needs further explanation. Like I said, there are some that you can actually buy. Um, they have like a, a lock on it and if you press on it, it says, do you want to buy it now for, I don't know, 200,000 or something? You press yes or no. And that's that. Now, quickly, just quickly go into the element tab because it's also going to show you how to level things up. Um, and the element tab, pretty simple. You equip one. There we go. I'm going to just, just equip full electricity here. Uh, put this on G, put this on H. Boom. There we go. Now we have the full left bar filled up with elements. Um, if we hold down V... You can see he does some little whoop, 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 and then we can, you know, use our moves. And some of them are really good. As you can see, this one's going to get you around the map real fast. And it only has an 8 second cooldown, which is pretty good. We have a T move right over here. And this is going to damage people, but the damage um, is not that crazy. The damage is really not that crazy. Um, but you, you, maybe there are some combo extenders that you can use in the future. But most of them are just, I mean, it's really cool in the beginning when you start having these elements and then you, you see it happening and you just go like, damn, that looks cool. But later on, like I said, once you play a bit longer, you're going to be like, Oof. you know, uh, that's a bit too much. Now, we're already at the 19 mark, uh, minute mark, so I have to hurry up a little bit. Now, the sub abilities, like I said as well, um, here we have the martial arts, you know, we have some... Ah! You know, some nice close combat things. Already talked about those. And now we talk about modes. 
Um, modes are um, your nine tails, ten tails. I have a lightning cloak, the inner spirit. I think one of them. I think is it the inner spirit that was the one that's free, or is it? Um, I don't even know. I'm gonna quickly just use. Is that my? I think that's my lightning cloak. Uh, so I'm gonna hold down Z here for a second. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. So let's hold down Z here for a second, and I'm gonna get a lightning cloak on. And as you can see, get a nice aura. And on the bottom left, the mode is gonna run out. Now on the right side. Um, we have some stat boosts. If I'm gonna hold down M here, you can see on the right here we have plus 3,000 chi, uh, chi, plus 3,000 in Jitsu, uh, Tai Jitsu, and 2,200 HP, which is going to be really uh, helpful in combat. Now you see my Chi has gotten down a bit, so when I hold down C, but you can rebind those keys. If I hold down C, I'm actually gonna fill it up again, and there we go. Now we have a nice sprint boost with it as well. As you can see, we're much faster than the other ones. If I would actually equipped, uh, for example, Joe came, you know, which also has a speed boost at C3, and you see you're gonna be very fast. So that's really it. But you see it also kind of burns your mode down, so you have to keep that in mind. Now, like I said as well with the Taijutsu moves, uh, not the Taijutsu, with the weapons, you can uh, have these rarity things and it's quite difficult to get those. Um, let's go to something that's a bit more hard to get. Let's see, for example, the Obelisk is 1 out of 40. So it's really difficult to get that. So it spawns at 520, which is in a second actually, it's in 10 minutes. If I wanted to go for it, you know, I could go for it, but... Since I am quite fine, I, like this is the only problem that I have. I really hate doing that. I just really, really hate doing this. You know, I gotta be really honest. I hate waiting for the times and I hate swapping servers until you get it. Once you get it, what do you have to do? Where is it? You have to watch location videos. Where does it spawn? Usually they spawn in small scrolls, you know, around the map, wherever, in, for example, here in the dunes. It just spawns somewhere and then it always has the same spawn point, don't get me wrong, but you have to watch these videos on how to get it, how to get the... Luckily, the developers have actually extended the time, you know, they've extended their time to um, uh, to get it. So that's really good, I think, from 10 minutes to 20 minutes. So we actually have some time on finding them and we don't have to rush that much anymore. Um, okay, so this is how you get those. Uh, like I said, nine tails, ten tails. Ten tails you get actually in war mode. I'm going to talk about that in a second if I remember. But um, yeah, uh, we have. Uh, there's one thing. If you have two modes, and I've equipped uh, another mode, I shouldn't forget that I still have that one mode on. So what you have to do is you have to go back to your mode, turn it off, and turn the other one on. As far as I remember, because it used to be like that. I don't know. Maybe they changed it. But um, here we go. Here we, for example, have nine tails. Um, there we go, boom, and boom, there we go. Also pretty cool, right? Now, yeah, let's continue, let uh, us continue. Uh, but that's just a bit too advanced yet, that's just a bit too advanced, these nine tails, ten tails, there are a lot of guides on how to get them, and a lot of showcases, I actually have some showcases uh, on my channel as well, so if you're interested uh, in watching one of those, you can do that. Uh, now companions, really simple. Uh, once we've finished with the menu, by the way, I'll show you a bit around the world and how to do missions and stuff, right? Okay, so don't don't get me wrong. This is going to be a very complex video. Um, okay, so companions. We can actually start off with companions here. Um, you see uh, in the world, there are three different type of missions. We have the green scroll, we have the blue star, we have the red star, and we actually also have a big scroll, but it's really difficult to... Uh, find those right now. These are bosses, which is like a little bit of an orangey looking type of scroll. Um, and we're gonna do that. If, if we're gonna find one, we're gonna do those as well. But um, yeah, basically it's very simple what you do. Um, you go to a scroll here, for example, let's go to this scroll. And it's gonna give you, uh, uh, on my journey, I saw it's gonna give you a quest. Can you defeat them? And it's always the same mission, sadly, it's always the same. Uh, you accept it, and in the bottom left, it tells you we got 12 minutes now uh, to kill him. But um, uh, I'm going to type cancel because I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that a bit later in the video. So I discarded the mission. You can actually type in ca uh, exclamation point ca cancel, and then it stops. Now, there are bosses in this game. Like I said, this orangey-looking uh, scroll. There are bosses in this game, and they will give you these guys here, these companions. Are they useful? Not really. Should you do it in the beginning? Maybe. I mean, you are going to do bosses anyways, and most of the time they drop a scroll. Look at this, it's like one out of three. 
So it's really simple to get those companions. Are they really good? <laughs> no. No. Not really. Um, you know. Uh, they come out. They do some moves. As you can see here. This one's using a basic element. No. No. They're not really that good. No. Not really. But if you unlock them, then you at least know what a scroll looks like. So you start off, you know, killing a boss and it drops the scroll. You double click it or you just click it one time and there you go. You have it. You can unlock it with money then inside of here. So the travel tab explains basically everything what it already says. You travel with it, right? So we have Ember here. We have Arbalisk. We have Nimbus. We have Haze. We have Dunes, blah, blah, blah. If you have a private server. You can actually press uh, on teleport to private server, which is very useful. Also, if you have a friend, you can type here your friend's name. Hello, as you can see here, and then you can teleport to your friend. Also very useful. The mastery tab is basically nothing else than my ability tab. Uh, you can press on it, equip it, and then you go into the elements, and then you can actually you know, do stuff with it. Uh, for example, uh, if I wanted to have Arahaki Joke now, press on 1. Always make sure uh, all of these tabs here are going to get deleted again. So if you actually have a nice build, it's going to be gone. Now let's equip it. Um, it's actually going to go into the right tab because it's not an element. Uh, it also has its, mo uh, its own mode. And there we go. We have it now, you know, on our Q, E, and R. You know, we can go in here. He actually, oh, he has also Jokei, but not not my Jokei, you know. My Jokei is the coolest Jokei. Now, also with the... With the with the mode tab, you can hold down C. As you see, it's like on the bottom left here, right here. It says C because it's a mode. Uh, you hold down C, and this is what happens. Um, this is the first version. Then you press C2. That's the second version. C3. That's the third version. But you have to level it up. Okay, so mine is at level 999. It's almost level 1000. I don't know if 999 is the last one or if I just actually haven't uh, leveled it up to the max. Again, on the right side, we have a boost here of stats. Sadly, you cannot combine them. Like if you use nine tails or ten tails right now to it, it doesn't combine. It doesn't add up, sadly. But um, yeah, this looks really dope, right? Oh, look at these eyes. I mean, I'm, I've been in love with Arahaki Joke ever since. This looks really dope. Um, okay, let's uh, yeah go a bit through the world and see what's popping. I mean, I wanted to show you the arena. Actually, why did I do that? I actually want my speed boost, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually quickly show you something. So Arahaki Joke, and um, I don't even know sub ability. There we go, and the lightning cloak, so fast. Let's go. I mean, it does kind of drain your mode, but look at the speed. So that's pretty dope. Um, now here we have the training ground where you can train with logs. By the way, you can also level up your elements there quite simply. Uh, doing that. I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, also, you have the ramen station here. It's like right across from here. This is where the ramen station is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do not do that, man. Uh, you go in here, you eat ramen. Um, it kind of fills up. I don't know what it was. Does it fill up your HP or your stamina? It's one of the, both. Or maybe both. I'm not 100% sure. That's where you do it. Because I don't really use it. I don't really use it that much. Usually, when I want my stamina or something recovered, I do escape. Or do you want to respawn? Yes. Then you respawn because you don't really lose anything from it. You respawn. Basically, once you killed a boss, you respawn or did a mission, you respawn and you got your full chi and HP. So I barely use uh, these other things. Now, the only bad thing is sometimes you have to, you know, do this again and do this again. But, you know, this is a, this is a thing of like, I don't know, 15 seconds. Shouldn't be a thing. All right, so this is the, now you know where the ramen station is. Uh, you want to do some missions, man. You want to do some missions. So uh, we're going to accept a mission. Uh, we're going to use this. There are some simpler ones as well. You should basically, when you start out, you should start off with these ones right here. Can you clean up the cage office or can you find my cat? And it actually tells you where to go. So I'm going to go right over here. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Can you deliver some mail for me? If we have accepted this, um, we have to go to places now. Uh, take the envelope to your objective point. So right over there, you can see I have to take the envelope over here. Bam. Mission completed. This is also already going to give you some stuff. It's going to give you some cash or something or whatever. And it probably also gives you some experience, um, which is good, which is nice. 
but um, these are the ones later on, plus the boss, uh, the boss missions that are going to give you the real moolah. So let's go right over here. A group of Taijutsu students. Let's quickly do that so I can uh, show you around on how that looks. Where do we have to go? So we have to go over there. Um, there's actually a thing you can go below here. As you can see, many people use this. Just go below here. And there they are. Because all, most of these missions are only here. It's very nearby the city, so you don't have to worry about getting too far out and be being confused and getting lost. And um, this is like one of the furthest ones, by the way. So let's just quickly start doing that. Taking care of these guys, doing a bit of damage. I mean, they already have, I don't know, is it 100k? I don't even know how much it is, but... Alright, let's just do some damage here. Boom! Um, I'm gonna do some Arahaki Jokei move. BOOM! <laughs> and down they go. Um, yeah, done. Basically what I do from here is, you know, escape, R, enter, you know, just reset your character. I don't know how it works on the phone, but you can reset your character on the phone as well. And then you're back in town, and you can take the next one. Just take the next one. Boom. Now, you might want to know on how to level up your elements. Like, this is one way of uh, leveling up your elements and your bloodlines. But another one is, a very simple one, by the way, is just hitting logs. Which is quite interesting. So you basically use your move on the logs and it gives you experience. It even levels up your character. As you can see in the bottom, the experience bar is going to rise. And all you do is that. Look at this. In the bottom, you're going to uh, just hit it. That's it. There, there's, no, there's no secret formula to that, ladies and gentlemen. So let me fill up my um, Arahaki Joke. Maybe let, let's. Oh, I did the wrong one. Um, the only bad thing sometimes is you actually hurt other people, as you can see right here, uh, which is a little sad. But uh, probably you have to just find one uh, for yourself and just do it. Here's another move. Does it work? Oh, yeah, he's just like heading back now. Th this kind of induces a lot of fighting, so you gotta be careful on doing that. Uh, once you want to train your bloodline. I mean, this is literally the fastest way. There are many people who do these videos on how to level the fastest way. This is the fastest way. And now you should be said, I think. You should be good to go to get uh, around the game a little more. You know what these do. You know how to get quests. You know how to level up. Um, I still haven't found a boss uh, quest, which is um, uh, kind of a sad thing because I wanted to showcase that as well. But maybe we'll do that in a part two. I'm gonna make it probably a part two out of this one. Um, and there's a little tip that I can give you as well. Um, you can party up with a friend, right? Um, or with anybody, just ask somebody. Most of the people wanna do quests anyways. One guy, because I just read it in the chat, one guy grabs the quest, the other guy kills, the one that does more damage. And then the other guy grabs a quest and kills, grabs and kills, and that's much faster in leveling up than usually. Okay, um, I don't know, I probably have forgotten quite a few things and I want you to write your questions down um, in the comment section below so I can make a video on that in the part two, okay? So this is a thing that we have to do together. Um, if there's more things you want to know about this game, write it down in the comment section below. Um, there's this one thing, uh, the custom tab by the way, so we just finish up this tutorial here. The custom tab actually causes a game pass that you need, you can make your own mask don't know, I don't need it. And there's your control settings. In the control settings you can rebind your keys, which is really good. Um, for example, you don't want strong punch to be on B, you want it on somewhere like you have a different playstyle, you can change it. Uh, but I, you know, learned to do it with uh, the standard procedure, you know, the standard uh, controls. So that's what it is. Um, there is the quest tab, that's the last one. It's the last one, like I said, the quest tab. So for example, if we press L, uh, we can get uh, a free spin right here. And they also redo every 17 hours, as far as I remember. Uh, for example, punch 276 times, or charge chi 110 times, or level up once. These are things that are super easy to do. You know, punch 200 times, I mean, it is repetitive. I mean, but, but it works, you know, it works. So, for example, if I put on uh, auto clicker, you see? It's working. It's working. So, it's really simple. Most of these things are really, really, really simple. Rush 140 times. Rushing is also very simple. For me, it's pressing forward twice, like duck, duck. Pressing two times W. 
Sometimes uh, that actually takes stamina. Oh my god, are you really? Okay. So there you go. I mean, it's super simple. The, the, these things are very simple. Uh, complete seven quests from villages. You actually get two. And the more you do for C, the more B you're going to get, the more A you're going to get, the more S you're going to get. And the S ones are going to give you like, I don't know, like 10 free spins or something each time you finish it. Tree jump, another thing um, many people don't know, is very simple. Because that confused me. I was like, what? Tree jump? Uh, you run up to the tree. There you go. By the way, you run up by jumping against the tree and then press jump again. That's how you run up. And if we hold down jump, that's tree jumping. This is a fast way of getting around the map. I used to call it flying, but now we actually have the actual flying in the game. But um, f for the people who don't have this, this is a very easy thing to do and get around the map it's better than running around and chilling because you have cheese uh, cheese <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have trees everywhere sometimes it doesn't work out Let, let's see can we get it ah uh, there we go uh, i used a little bit of a rush there but um yeah that's it uh this is the arena down here this is not going to be interesting for the beginning but um yeah these are the things that you can do it's simple it's not hard it is really not hard um yeah, write down the comments in the comment section below. I call this the ultimate beginner guide because now everything should be explained as far as I remember. If I've forgotten something, please, please write it down in the comment section below and I will make a part two and explain everything else. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was me doing this video and I will talk to you in the next video. Goodbye and peace out.